Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something special for you in store. A case mod project that has been in works for a while. Uh, I've been doing some research, but before we dive into the nitty gritty of modding the Andy Sports Crystal, I want to share why I chose the particular case at the first place. Now you guys might be wondering why I didn't go with like the Olan Dynam Kivo, because I love the case so much, I could have modded that case. Uh, the Olan Dynam Kivo is an incredible case, no doubt about it. But it comes with a higher price tag and honestly uh, i didn't want to risk making mistakes on a more expensive case especially when i'm trying out modding for the first time so i decided to go with the andy sports crystal it's an affordable option and still provides a sleek tempered design plus it's perfect for someone like me who's looking to experiment with case modding and without breaking the bank the real inspiration behind the project came from the nzx th9 elite you see the h9 elite features this beautiful unobstructed view of the internals thanks to its unique design without a bar in the middle and I thought why not bring the same kind of clean open look to the Ant Esports Crystal. Alright folks, I hope that gives you some insight into why I chose the Ant Esports Crystal for this modding adventure and the inspiration behind it. Trust me, this is going to be an epic journey and I can't wait to share every step with you. So hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any action, even in the future. Let's get to the build. So let me tell you everything that had changed from the last time. Let's start with this. I use a GoPro Hero 4 as my webcam now. I usually have a webcam, but uh, this I used to shoot some videos and the quality is better with this one. You cannot beat a GoPro with a 1080p webcam. It only does 1080p as a webcam though, through HDMI. The mouse pad is changing. It's all thanks to my boy Hadi. Thank you for this amazing gift. The artisan mouse pad. I do not know much about these mouse pads, but I know they are awesome. So I'll be using this as a main driver from now on. The RAM will stay the same. Is it the same? I don't think I changed it in the middle. But yeah, it's been quite a while since I've been using this Trident Z Neo. Uh, the, uh, 16 gigs in total, 8 GB, 2 sticks. That's all. SSD is still the same. The P1 solid straight drive from Crucial. The cabinet, okay. There's a lot, lot to talk about this cabinet. I think I'm gonna tell you about this. Uh, well, after I remove everything from the table, I need to show you guys something about it. I have modded this. This used to have a bar here. The bar is not there anymore. I'll tell you what I did, how I modded it uh, in a little bit. The monitor is in the Sonic HD 2431, 240Hz. I, I was on the Zoe XL256, uh, the 240Hz K version. And I actually swapped this for my XL 2456K. Uh, this was a swap and I enjoyed this much more because this has an IPS display that was a TN panel. The mouse is still the same, the G Pro. I didn't go for the Super Light. I had an option to upgrade to the Super Light, but I think that's a bit too light for me. So this will still be my main driver. The GPU has changed. Uh, if you remember, I had the Founders Edition 3080. Now I have the Galaxy 3080 Ti. And this I swapped like almost a month ago. I upgraded to this. The power supply has also changed. I used to have a 750 watt gold HCG, but now I have an HCG Extreme 1000 watt per PSU. The motherboard is still the same. The Mag X570 Tomahawk Wi Fi. Yeah, no complaints. I think it was the best motherboard when I got it for the X570 series in a budget. Of course, you can spend a thousand dollars on a motherboard, that doesn't make any sense. The cooler is still the same, the Core Liquid 360R. The keyboard has changed. I used to have a 60% keyboard, but since I started my new job as a software developer, I needed the function keys, I needed the arrow keys, and let me tell you, I absolutely love this keyboard. This, it sounds amazing. It, It looks amazing. Uh, the performance is amazing. I played on wireless 2.5 gigahertz wireless mode, and I have absolutely no complaints. So this is uh, the controller I use. There's not much to say about it. It's a very it's a cheap wireless controller, and it gets the job done. If you're on a budget, you want a controller that's wireless. Get this. The headphones are still the same. 
but I'm not using them anymore. You'll ask why, because even though these cost a fraction of what these are, absolutely those are better, but these cost a fraction of those, and it must be my old age. <laughs> I do not like wearing headphones or my head anymore. So these earphones get the, get the job done. I hear all the first steps I need. This is what I use as my main driver. One more thing that I'm adding this time is those custom sleeved black cables from Sensei Mods. These cables make a hell of a difference. Uh, you'll see them when I build a PC. This is a processor, the Ryzen 9 5900X. I will still rock this processor until I think the next generation. Yeah, I'll have to upgrade when the next generation comes out. That would be after the Samsung series. Till then, this will do. Also, something I forgot to mention. I also got these two sets of FC120 fans. These fans are absolutely amazing and there is no cable clutter with them. You, all or three of them use a single cable. So I love these fans. I got two sets. I have used those fans in a previous build. I have not uploaded this video, but you'll see that in the, on the screen now. So let's talk about the case a little bit. Uh, yeah, case and these four scale roster. So I know there is no logo on the front now because I modded it. So I didn't actually mean to remove it, but the bulky paint remover on the side panel was coming for a hard gear, then I had removed completely. So what you will see different is this had this bar, which is the best monitor again. Exactly here. And I don't like how that looks. So if you guys can see this, they used to be paint on all four sides, on that panel, and even the front panel. The front panel is back to back side, so it has a bracket attached to it. The four sides were done, so I removed it. I used a heat gun and some isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive, then remove the adhesive, the bracket was removed, then used a handsaw to cut the piece. I removed this piece from here, and then I scraped the glue. The uh, elbow grease was very good, but it turned out awesome. I love how it turned out. Same with that. That does not have a bracket like this, so that was less effort. But us maybe paint remove karna pada for the side. So that gave us a clear view. As you can see, no blockage. The wheel is going to be open, and I love it.